It is a busy time of year for scammers. In 2021, 42% of all business inquiries on BBB.org for moving companies occurred from May through August. Throughout the year, people reported more than 730,000 items, or excuse me, $730,000 lost to moving scams to BBB Scam Tracker, which was a 216% increase in monetary losses as compared to 2020. Lindsay George with the Better Business Bureau is joining me this morning to talk about moving scans. So, Lindsay, moving scams can come in many forms. What are some of the most common that people might encounter? Well, yes, that's right, Kelly. There are many moving scams that are reported to the BBB every year. Uh, one of the first scams that we hear about is normally when consumers, they receive a quote, they pay a deposit, but the movers never show up. Mm. Secondly, we also hear about where movers, moving companies will quote an expected weight and charge the consumer and a, mm -hmm. a fee. But with that, they'll say, well, when we arrive, there's more belongings than expected, so they'll charge them double of what the original estimate was. Mm. And so another one is when scammers, they'll moving, scamming moving companies will contact the individual, everything seems like it's going well, they're packing up your belongings, um, you paid your deposit, and so when they pack, arrive at your final destination, you arrive at your final destination, your belongings aren't there either. So now at this mm. point, you're belongings are possibly stolen or they may be asking for an additional fee or holding your possessions hostage in order for them to give you your belongings back to you. And that is something that none of us want to experience. Right. And there are some warning signs that may alert people that these moving companies may be trying to scam them. Could you explain some of the warning signs? Yeah, so one of the main warning signs is when you go to a company's website and you do not see any type of contact information, whether it's the missing address or a phone number or they do not provide any type of information as far as their insurance and liability mm -hmm. um, as it relates to protecting your belongings. Um, so those are all red flags um, as it comes to um, those moving, moving companies and those unusual requests they may have. Um, another one would possibly be if they ask for a large down payment or even um, the payment in full before actually um, showing up to do an inspection and getting your belongings. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about requests. So are those two requests pretty much the most typical warning signs that they could be scamming? Yes, most definitely. And of course, if they ask you for an additional fee once they arrive um, by holding your um, possessions hostage, um, at that point, you do want to you know, contact your local authorities mm -hmm. and file a report to with BB Scam Tracker so we can make others aware of that scam that's going on. Yeah, to prevent someone else from being scammed. All right, and then another thing that the BBB always talks about with this um, is that it's important to get things in writing. Yes, it's very important to get everything in writing before you actually do any type of contract work, especially with moving companies, because there are policies in place to protect you as well as the moving company. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to make sure you understand the contract, the claims, the liabilities, um, as well as that you see an actual arrival date. Um, when they'll come and tack up your belongings mm -hmm. as well as when your belongings will arrive at your final destination. All of those um, are fair things that you need to know in a contract to know that is, is legitimate. All right. Well, thank you, Lindsay, for joining us this morning. If you have any questions or concerns, you can learn more about this on our website or contact the Better Business Bureau. That number is 256-850-0719.